All right, hi everybody, sorry for the delay today. Um, it was a busy ending to our day here in the clinic and uh, uh, we had a patient that had a car accident and uh, we kind of had to spend some extra time on that. So we got started a little bit late. My apologies, thanks for being so patient. And today we want to talk about orthotics and this is part of our dinner with the doctor series and we schedule it later in the evening on Tuesdays or Thursdays so that um, patients can join us uh, during dinner or after dinner. And we used to do these events actually in the clinic or at a restaurant close by. And uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, people would come, I would present on a certain topic. And um, after presenting, I would leave uh, the patients and their friends and spouses uh, to have dinner. So it was kind of a fun concept and it's, I've carried it through uh, right through COVID and uh, beyond uh, online. So that's why we call it the dinner with the doctor. So I'm going to switch over to this screen. And um, here I'm talking about um, who I am. I'm Dr. Carrie Yerke. I'm a chiropractor here at Tut Street Family Chiropractic. And I've been practicing for 30 years now. And for 20 of those years, I have been doing orthotics. And I've used the same company called the Orthotic Group. They're actually bought out by OHI. Um, uh, and I'm going to show you a uh, foam cast today uh, of, of an orthotic, how we do that. But um, the quality has been very good over the years. It continues to be very good. And um, that's why I like the orthotic group or OHI now. Um, the orthotics take about two weeks to order and the turnaround time on orthotics and orthopedic shoes is very good. The process is very simple and most insurance com companies cover orthotics and orthopedic shoes. But I also wanna go over different conditions we see in the clinic, how we treat those, and then when orthotics are appropriate. Um, I had knee pain as a teenager and a chiropractor helped me. And that's why I became a chiropractor. It was through that experience that I learned about chiropractic. It made such a big difference in my life that I decided that's what I wanted to do. And so I'm excited to share information uh, from my clinical experience with you today, as well as uh, how we practice chiropractic here at the clinic in Kelowna. And uh, I wanna talk about different chiropractic principles and our approach to um, foot issues and how that might vary from other types of professionals that assess feet. So as an introduction to foot health, why are feet so important? Well, uh, your feet are your foundation of your body and anyone that's had foot pain knows how difficult and how uh, incapacitating uh, that can be. You know, when you go to take a step, if you have a heel spur, every time you step on your heel, you feel it. Uh, if you have plantar fasciitis, which is inflammation of the bottom part of the foot, then uh, you feel it because your arch is inflamed and every time your arch needs to spring from the step, you're gonna feel pain on the bottom part of your foot. If you have bunions, sometimes they're painful if they're inflamed, uh, sometimes they're not, but you can definitely see deformities of the feet, just like hammer toes. Uh, hammer toes are toes that are lifted up uh, due to uh, poor alignment of the toe joints. So there's a number of different conditions that we see in the clinic. I'm going to talk about some of those today, the more common ones, and then we'll talk about how we treat those. Now your gait pattern is very important. So the way you walk, and I'll talk about that today, as well as the way you stand and your foot posture, whether you have fallen arches or high arches, also the shoes that you wear make a big difference too. So what are some of the common foot problems that we see in the clinic? Well, plantar fasciitis is one of those uh, foot problems. It causes heel pain and inflammation on the bottom part, the arch of the foot, and that's one of the most common conditions we see. Um, I would say about 40% of the patients that come into the clinic with foot pain have plantar fasciitis. Uh, the good news with plantar fasciitis is that it's easier to treat than the other conditions. So when someone has plantar fasciitis, it's about getting the inflammation reduced in the plantar fascia, which is the arch part of the foot. It's about getting the flexibility back in the arch. 
supporting the alignment of the arch and then treating uh, treating the bottom of the foot and uh, usually we have very good success with that so uh, the longer the problem's been there generally the longer it takes for it to get better but um, if we can catch it fairly early usually the treatment is 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 quick for plantar fasciitis bunions bony bumps at the base of the big toe can develop over time some of it is genetic and some of it is the shoe wear and the the um, type of gait or walking pattern you have so when the force in the foot changes so when the physics of the foot changes then it can change the alignment of the toe and you can start to develop this um, angle in the toe where the bone head starts to push out in the inner part of the foot so it's not a bony growth that you're seeing people mistake the uh, uh, bunion as a bone growth it's not it's the displacement of the bone causing the head of the metatarsal to be sticking out on the inside so it's really just you're seeing the alignment of the bone sticking out so uh, we want to help with the uh, symptoms associated with that inflammation tenderness um, sometimes we'll use spacers um, or those types of things to help with the alignment, but it depends on how far it's progressed um, as to how we can help the deformity of the toe. The key thing, number one, is just to get rid of the symptoms so the person feels better. And number two, working on the future alignment and the function of that joint. Now, sometimes uh, heels or wearing shoes that have a higher heel part can change the angle of the foot. So uh, when people come in and they, they have heels, um, they're okay to wear sometimes, but I wouldn't wear heels where the bottom, the back part of the foot is higher than the front. Uh, platform shoes where the front and the back are equal, that's totally fine. But it's just when the person has an angle to their foot, then it changes the physics of the toes. Hammer toes are abnormal bends in the middle joints of the toe. So they happen not at the end of the toe, but in the middle joints of the toes. And usually the toes are sitting up, uh, kind of like um, in, on an angle like that off the ground. And then flat feet, collapsed arches. That's something that we see uh, very commonly in the clinic too. And flat arches, um, can be caused by pronation of the foot. Now pronation is when the foot uh, flattens. So what we see is uh, the arch kind of going down towards the ground. That can change the alignment of the ankle and the um, tissues connected to the bones. That can cause inflammation on the bottom part of the foot. Sometimes I see really high arches too. So um, high arches can also cause rigidity in the bones in the ankle and then translate up into the calf area, uh, causing pain and discomfort. So we do see pronation, flat feet. We do see supination, high arches. And um, sometimes that is hereditary. Um, so there's some factors um, as far as hereditary factors. There can be injuries too. There can be improper footwear uh, causing flatter arches. And as people age, generally um, the uh, thicker parts of the foot, the fattier parts of the foot thin out and there's not as much flexibility of the foot. So I find people have more foot pain as time goes on as they get older. Now, what are orthotics? Orthotics correct poor posture and cushion your feet. They're specifically designed uh, to be worn inside the shoe. So you take your insert out of your shoe, you, your uh, support that's already in there take it out and you put in a custom orthotic like this and what that does is it corrects foot alignment relieves pressure on the foot and enhances the function and the movement of the feet so it provides cushion and support and also helps with the flexibility and the the gait pattern of the foot the customization process for orthotics um, it differs from ones that are over the counter. So I grabbed one from the clinic here that's over the counter. This is a Dr. Scholl's and we do have them in the clinic. And sometimes for just minor conditions, these are very good. Also, I'll give these to people when they first come in with foot pain and we are considering 
getting a custom orthotic, this is a good temporary measure. Uh, it's fairly inexpensive. Uh, there's different types of off-the-rack uh, supports for the arches, and I'll order the right one for that patient's condition just to get them through the next few weeks. And then we'll go through the process of ordering an orthotic, which I'm going to talk about a little later in this presentation. So these off-the-counter ones are good for certain minor conditions. They're good while you're waiting for orthotics. There's um, some of these off-the-rack orthotics that are a little bit more complicated. So you can go and there's displays where um, it asks you questions or you stand on a um, you stand on a grid and it calculates what you need. Those are a little bit better than the ones that are just off the rack. So they're kind of more intuitive. They're going to give you better information and suggest one of the orthotics that they are carrying there on the display. I've thought of getting something like that in the clinic actually as a medium stop gap for foot conditions. So we've been considering getting um, a scanner for the clinic that can assess the foot and recommend not just the basic orthotic, but one that's a little bit higher level, but not quite custom made. So those can be very helpful too. And then of course, there's the custom made process. These are actually the orthotics that we often get here in the picture. I downloaded the picture from the website, TOG.com. I'm, I'm hoping to show you their website at the end of this presentation. But uh, there's a top cover. There's a harder plastic corrective part to the orthotic. And then there's the cushion part. Often I'll add on uh, things like the rear foot post, which is a stabilizer for the heel. Sometimes I'll add on a metatarsal arch pad, and I'll talk about that in this presentation too. And often I get the orthotic cut three quarters or seven eighths length. So the toes are hanging off the end. The corrective device is doing its job, but this allows you to move the orthotic between shoes. So even if your shoes wear out, you can still keep wearing the orthotics. I like that versus cutting the orthotic to try and fit the shoe. Now, what's the process like? Uh, there's different types of processes to assess the foot and to order an orthotic. So what I do in the clinic is I, when I do the new patient process, I do a thorough history. I assess the foot and the posture of the person in general. I have the person walk to see what their alignment and walking posture, their gait is like. And then what I do is have them standing and I check their arches and the back of their foot where the Achilles is for clues as to what is causing the foot pain. And then I have them sit and I check their arches non weight bearing because I want to see what the alignment's like without any weight. Based on that assessment, then I'll determine what needs to go in the prescription. Now the prescription is inside the casting kit. So in the casting kit, which is right here, and that you're seeing this on the screen, what you'll see is um, you'll see the foam and then you'll see the prescription. So we write a prescription on a form that goes in the casting kit like this with all the information I just went over. And then um, we'll do an impression of the foot like this in foam, like you're seeing on the screen. And what that does is it captures the volume of the foot and the alignment to the foot in foam. So it's a very good technique to use. We use a non-weight bearing technique with the orthotic group because um, what they do is when we send that there, they analyze it with computers, they know what the natural position of the foot is like and then they can make the right orthotic to support the natural position, correct for any arch or alignment issues. And then when the person's gonna stand on it, the materials that they use are gonna support the normal alignment of the foot. So I really like their neutral, non-weight bearing um, way of casting. And I've been doing that for, like I said, 20 years. Now, uh, there's newer techniques. There's uh, walking on a pad, there's a pad now with cameras. Those techniques are good too, but I've had such great success over the years that I don't want to change anything right now because I know it works. Um, as far as shoes go, 
um, when I first started doing orthopedic shoes, they were pretty, um, how do I put it, clog-like. Uh, so um, the shoes look like older nursing type of shoes and they weren't very fashionable. A lot of people didn't want to buy them. They wanted to order orthotics and get a pair of shoes and put the orthotics in the shoe. But that's changed a lot over the years. And if you go to the orthoticgroup.com, TOG.com, you'll see all the styles they have. So the orthotic group is teamed up with Brooks and Reebok and Merrill and all the major shoe companies um, to get the right width and length of the shoe in conjunction with the orthotic that they make. So now they'll ship out the whole product that is custom made for the person's cast that we just went over. So they'll have the right width to the shoe and they'll have the right length and they'll have the right arch support. So I think it's a fantastic product. Um, it's more expensive to get a shoe with the arch supports in it with the custom made orthotic. But if you compare it to buying a shoe at the shoe store and getting orthotics made, it's still a better deal. And a lot of times um, insurance companies will cover orth orthopedic shoes uh, over and above chiropractic care, just like they will with orthotics, but they'll have a higher limit for orthopedic shoes. So you'll be able to get additional coverage for that. And every insurance company is a little different so it's always best to check your with your insurance company. And lately we've been doing pre-authorizations, which means we'll write the prescription, we'll write down what's needed, we'll give that to the patient, they'll upload it to their insurance company through their insurance app or portal, and we'll get confirmation in advance that the insurance company is going to cover it and how much they're gonna pay. So that's a really great way to do it. it takes a little bit longer, can add a couple weeks to the process, but it's, it's reassuring to know the insurance company is going to pay for that. Now for orthopedic shoes, we want to check your gait and your posture. We want to have the right support on the, uh, and the right width and the length. And the orthotic group does a really good job of uh, providing the right product to support uh, the foot, the ankle alignment, the knee, the hip, the spine. It kind of translates all the way up. So if you have better alignment and posture cushioning of the foot, it's gonna help support other joints as well. Not just foot pain, but it's gonna help with things like ankle pain and knee pain, uh, hip pain and spinal pain. So uh, orthotics are a really good idea uh, just to help with other types of conditions as well. Now the orthotic group um, provides us support on different foot conditions. So they have a lot of experts working at their factory. Uh, we use the one in Toronto. Uh, they have other manufacturing um, places in the United States uh, now that they're part of the bigger OHI group. And they're gonna provide support to us if we have special circumstances, like if we have bunions or metatarsal arch problems, or if we have uh, any types of foot conditions. I had one um, last year where one of the bones didn't form properly and there were two bones instead of one on the navicular bone, one of the bones in the feet. And there's a lot of bones in the foot. So this os navicular uh, was interesting because it's, it's not that common, but yet uh, I was able to get an orthotic for the patient to help them with that condition. So uh, the orthotic group is really good with a team of experts to help support us here in the clinic when we do have more complicated uh, foot scenarios. Now, if you have any questions, please type them in the chat. I'd be happy to answer those for you. And what I'll do is I'll get up the websites, uh, I'll get up the Orthotic Group website as well as our website. I'll talk a little bit more about our clinic uh, and how we go about treating foot conditions, uh, just so you have a better understanding of that. Um, and then I'll give you a special offer after that for orthotics. So uh, if you have any questions, please type them in the chat now. I'd be happy to answer questions here. Uh, just put in type here, and then I'll be happy to answer those questions right now. And in the meantime, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna switch over to um, our website, and I'll try and come back to this. So here's our website. And 
Um, if you're interested in booking an appointment in the clinic, it's really easy to do. Uh, you just have to go to our website, tetstreetfamilychiropractic.com, and you can click on this button, and it's uh, book, book Now. That'll take you over to the area where you can book your initial appointment. And we are open seven days a week. We have appointments available uh, in the mornings and afternoons. And often we can see people the same or the next day. So if it's urgent, you're in a lot of pain, uh, most of the time we can accommodate a patient and get them in fairly quickly. So um, you can go to our website. You can also see the other types of services we have. Uh, like shockwave and laser. So um, sometimes I will use shockwave or laser. They're, it's really good for soft tissue, inflammation, injuries to the muscles and the tendons and ligaments. Shockwave is a sound wave or acoustic wave that goes into the tissue to break down calcium deposits, promote blood flow, heal the tissue. And laser is light therapy that uh, stimulates the mitochondria which is the energy part of the cell and it increases the healing process it speeds it up reduces inflammation and uh, helps release cytokines or chemical mediators to help heal the tissue so we do use laser and shockwave in conjunction with uh, doing orthotics and custom footwear and then of course there's chiropractic and I talked to you earlier about instrument uh, chiropractic and posture so when someone comes into the clinic we want to check their alignment and posture overall and if we find that they're favoring one side they're slouching we're going to recommend that we correct their alignment in conjunction with doing laser shock wave and orthotics so we want to take a holistic approach and not just be focused on one area so that uh, if we don't work on the posture down the road the foot pain is going to come back again we don't want that to happen so we definitely want to focus uh, holistically on the whole person I'm going to show you this this is the orthotic group uh, website so if you go to TOG.com uh, you can go to the patient entrance right here and you can see the different styles of orthotics and footwear so if you go to orthotics right here you'll see the different types of orthotics that we can make. Some of them include uh, ones for running, ones for dress shoes, uh, ones for uh, steel-toed boots or safety um, boots, uh, ones for tennis or soccer. So there's a number of different ones, diabetic flex, kids flex. Uh, there's different top covers like leather that's a little more dur durable, ones for sandals. So they're, they're very, um, the orthotic group is great at having different products for different types of conditions. The other thing you can see here is the footwear. So you have to type in the password for to get into the footwear wear area. And it's T, capital T-O-G for the orthotic group, capital S for shoes, and then small the rest. And then that'll get you into the patient entrance here on the orthotic group. And when you get into that area, you can go into these four categories, women's shoes, men's shoes, kids and safety shoes. So there are steel toed boots uh, that can be custom made, which is phenomenal for people who have to wear those uh, for work. Um, so this is a great, um, great product. And then for women's, you're gonna see there's Birkenstocks. We make custom made Bir Birkenstocks based on the person's alignment and their cast of their foot, which is very unique uh, in the industry. There's not a lot of uh, companies that'll do that. Sandals, athletic shoes, dress shoes, casual shoes, boots, winter and hiking, slippers, and slip resistant shoes. So there's all these different shoes available. And for men, uh, again, the Birkenstocks, athletic, casual, sandals, dress, slippers, slip resistant, and winter and hiking. And then for kids, there's these shoes right here. So sometimes kids have conditions too where uh, they're towing in or towing out, their foot isn't formed properly yet, it's growing, there's foot conditions for kids. So we wanna support children as well. So these are all uh, products that the orthotic group has. 
you can go through these products by clicking on a certain area. Let's say athletic, that's very popular. You can see all the companies that work with the orthotic group. Any of the, um, any of the shoes that are in red that say orthotic available, like right there, those are gonna qualify for insurance reimbursement. So you wanna find the ones that are in red, orthotic available. You can choose your company if you like Keens or if you like Merrill's, let's say, then it'll narrow it down. And then you can put in your sh shoe size up here and the width of your shoe here. It'll help narrow it down to see which shoes are in stock. And then we can get the custom made orthotic done and get the shoe all in one product. So that's how that works. And uh, I'm just gonna switch screens again and I'll check for your questions in one second here. So let's just go here. And I'm gonna refresh my page. Let's see if this will work. Got it. And I'm just gonna go back to where I was here towards the end of the presentation, answering questions. I'll give you a special offer in one second. Um, so, and I'll put the password in the presentation as, as well. So for a limited time till the end of the month, uh, we're offering patients, and if you want to become a patient of ours, 10% uh, off uh, until the end, end of April, April 30th, with the coupon or the coupon code WB for webinar dash ORT for orthotics. So if you use that, you'll get 10% off uh, an orthotic or orthopedic shoe, which is a phenomenal offer. So I'm just going to put the WB ORT right in the webinar here. So WB. ORT for 10% off. So there you go. And then the other um, thing I wanted to show you is our next webinar coming up. So on April 22nd at 12 noon, I'll be talking about instrument chiropractic. So it's a different technique, a different way that we treat the body using instruments rather than hands-on adjustments or table adjustments and I'll be talking about how gentle and precise the instruments are. We use the activator and the integrator, two different instruments. I'm going to show you those instruments. I'm going to talk about how they work and I'm going to talk about how they align the spine and the joints. So please join me on April 22nd at 12 noon. You can get a ticket by going to Eventbrite and you can uh, get a free ticket there but the tickets are limited. So uh, please go to our Eventbrite page and uh, you can type in Tut Street Family Chiropractic, Dr. Kerry Yerkew, and you can see uh, the upcoming events. And we've got about six events coming up over the course of uh, May and June. And then you can get a ticket there on Eventbrite. So I want to thank you for joining me today. If you don't have any questions, I will uh, conclude the webinar. Um, and uh, thanks again for your patience at the start. Uh, I hope you learned something about foot conditions, orthotics, the way we treat those um, conditions here in the clinic. If you have any questions, you can always click on the link in the show notes or in our bio if you're watching on social media. And uh, that'll take you to our website or you can always call the clinic and you can ask us any questions that you might have. We'd be happy to answer those. And I look forward to seeing you at the next webinar.